Welcome back to my channel. I'm Janix, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up OBS Studio for recording. Setting up recording for OBS Studio is completely different than live streaming setups. If you want to set up OBS Studio for live streaming, go ahead and head on over to this video right now. It'll get you set up real quick. But if you need to set up OBS Studio for recording, stick around. If this video helps you out at all, help my channel grow. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's show you how to do this. All right, to get started, once you have your OBS Studio open, go ahead and go up to File, and then Settings. Now go ahead and select the Output tab. Here on the Output tab, make sure that your Output Mode is on Advanced, and then select Recording. Recording Type is going to be Standard, and here on your Recording Path, you're going to select which folder you would like your recordings to save to. You can click Browse in order to select which folder. Make sure Generate File Name Without Space is not selected. Here on Recording Format, you have a few options. You can use any one that you'd like. I just want to let you know that if you choose MP4 as your option, and for some reason your computer turns off or you'll lose power in the middle of your recording, when you turn your computer back on, that recording will be gone. Choosing MKV as your recording format will save everything up to the point in which you lose power or your computer turns off. That's why I use MKV. For audio track, make sure they're all selected. For encoder, you guys have a few options. The two that you need to concentrate on are your NVIDIA, NVENC, and your X264. If you do not have a video card for some reason and you're using your motherboard video card, use X264. If you have a video card, and use NVIDIA NVENC. Next, you have the option for rescale output. This is not necessary at all, and you will lose quality by using it. Leave custom muxer settings empty. Next, here on rate control, you want to select CQP. And then on your CQ level, you want to have 15, your keyframe interval set on zero, preset on quality or max quality, depending on how good your computer is. Max quality is only recommended for really good video cards. On profile, select high. Do not have look ahead selected. Make sure cycle visual tuning is selected. Have your GPU set on zero and your max B frame set on two. Then click apply. Next, go ahead and select the audio tab. Here on the audio tab, you're gonna select which audio devices you would like OBS to use for your recordings. On desktop audio, go ahead and select default. Next, go ahead and go to mic auxiliary audio and select which microphone that you use. After adding your audio device and your microphone, go ahead and click apply and then click OK. You should now see your desktop audio and your microphone audio in the audio mixer below. If you'd like to set up your microphone so you sound professional, you're going to need to add filters. I've got a video right here I'm gonna pop up on the screen. It's very quick, it's very easy to set up, and it'll make you sound professional for all your recordings. All right, the last thing that we're going to do is add your display capture so you can record what's on your screen. Go ahead and click the plus sign, select display capture, select create new, and you can name it whatever you want. Select okay. And then on this screen on display, you're gonna to wanna to select which display you wanna record. If you only have one monitor, you're only gonna have one option. Go ahead and select the monitor you'd like, click OK, and now you're ready to record. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to set up OBS Studio for recording. If this video helped you out at all, don't forget to leave a comment, smash the like button, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all checking out the video. We'll see you next time. And remember, don't be toxic, spread positivity.